What's up, Roger? What's up, Scarlet? Okay. Scarlet's on a lookout for the squirrels. So basically, yesterday, well, in this morning too, I kind of realized that I had kind of gotten away from some of the football stuff that I had intended to kind of go with on my channel. I think instinctively I knew this, but I just kind of got distracted by, you know, life and other things took over my channel. But yesterday on my McCray's Battalion video that I released, Rudy Can't Game left this comment. I'm assuming no more football stuff, not saying I've not enjoyed your history stuff, but I think some football would be great. I replied below that. That, well this video is about football which it was but I think I understand what you mean Rudy like you want some just like pure fun football stuff not necessarily like intertwined with history but just focusing on football so I made the decision this morning to just kind of get back to learning more about football getting caught up on the season trying to figure out where all the teams are what's going on in the, in the leagues like what the latest news is I just guys I haven't been keeping up with it like I wanted to I haven't really even kept up with like American sports to be perfectly honest. I've just had so many other things going on that have been like stealing my focus a little bit, but that doesn't change the fact that I enjoy sports and I've been enjoying learning about a sport that isn't huge here in the United States. It's more part of other cultures around the world, which is what this channel is largely about, is learning about that. And I had a ton of people subscribe to my channel for the football content, and I feel like I've kind of let you down, you know? I think Rudy has a really great point, and I appreciate you leaving your comment, Rudy, because it did kind of like make me realize that I need to get back to this. For those of you who are more of a fan of the history content on my channel, not really a big football fan, don't worry, we're still gonna be doing plenty of that. I just want to, you know, kind of spread the love a little bit. So here we are. All right, guys, Scarlet has moved from the window and she's now lying behind me and it looks like she's about to nod off. So, <laughs> uh, so today is going to be about George Best because I had a lot of you guys ask me to look into George Best, you know, back in the day when we were doing football videos. <laughs> um, the only thing I know about him is that he is a bit of an older football player, uh, like decades ago, he was a, the, like the big thing, like the Messi or the Ronaldo of his day, maybe. At least that's the impression I got from all of you. But I do want to look him up because I don't want to watch this video without knowing anything about him. We're going to look up George Best. All right, so it looks like 70s hairdo right here. So let's look at his Wikipedia first. Oh, he died in 2005, so he's not as old as I thought he was. Uh, also known as Georgie Best was a Northern Irish professional footballer who uh, played as a winger, spending most of his club career at uh, Manchester United. Okay, so it's actually, he's from Ireland, but, or he's Irish, but he played for the Premier League. Best is regarded as one of the best players in the history of the sport. He was named the European Footballer of the Year in 1968. He was born and brought up in Belfast. A uh, Manchester United scout spotted his talent at age of 15. He made his debut at age 17. Scored 179 goals from 470 appearances over 11 years. And was the club's top goal scorer in the league for five consecutive seasons. Uh, he was the inaugural inductee into the English Football Hall of Fame in 2002. An international football best was capped 37 times for Northern Ireland between 1964 and 1977. <laughs> no idea what that even means was capped oops in sport a cap is a player appearance in a game and international okay so he just appeared okay uh best became one of the uh first media celebrity footballers earning the nickname el beetle i guess because he had like it says beetle mop type hair <laughs> uh it looks like he led an extravagant lifestyle and led to alcoholism which he suffered for the rest of his life that's a shame then he spent some time as a football analyst after he retired as a player looks like oh he was only 59 when he passed away okay complications from immunosuppressive drugs he needed to take for a liver transplant well i guess that happens if you're an alcoholic so it looks like he played the majority of his career with manchester united then all right well i think i got a pretty good overview of who george best is um, 
Um, sounds like one of the very first celebrity football players. So I guess he preceded Messi and Ronaldo and all of those guys kind of led the way for them eventually. Okay, so the video we're watching today about George is going to be his top 20 goals um, that he ever scored apparently, at least I guess that were captured on film. So I've already taken a look at a lot of the, you know, best footballers that we have currently or very recently. So it'll be interesting to see how he stacks up and see if, you know, he played any differently because you know, this is a few decades ago. I'm sure the style of play might be a little different. I don't know. I really don't know how that works. I know in American sports, the style of play definitely has changed over the decades. So I would just assume that that's probably the case in football as well. Okay, so here we go. Let's take a look at uh, George Best. Benetti for Chelsea. To McCready. Oh, I thought the other guy was him for a second. With McCready and in McCready. Oh, I was all turned around. I was like, where is the goal? Oh, this music. I keep looking at the wrong one. <laughs> Hang on, I keep looking at the wrong player. He has a he just keeps stealing it and then going for the goal. That's <laughs> All of these are him like just stealing the ball and then taking it down for a goal. It's crazy. I was thinking, is that offsides or not? Still don't really understand the offside rule. Like, when is it not offsides? <laughs> it's harder to follow in black and white because hard to find the player I'm looking for. There we go. Oh! Wait, what happened on that one? Did that guy knock it in? <laughs> so, what's the term for that again, where the other team scores a goal for you? Was what, what was it called? It was one of my football matches that I watched live with you guys that happened, and um, I can't remember, can't remember which game it was, but um, you guys told me that it was it's it's called it's called something, and I can't remember what it is now. <laughs> that was some fancy footwork right there. Let's just look for their really shaggy black hair and we'll be able to find them. Oh! <laughs> nice. Kick it through about five or six players there. Yeah, he does a lot of this stuff where he just steals it from the other team, and then he... Wait, what direction are we going? <laughs> so confused.
His hair, though. Oh, let's just casually kick it over everybody. Nice. You know what, number seven on Manchester is also looks like him too, so I keep I feel like it's a decoy, like I keep looking at him thinking that's who he is, but no, I'm he's number eleven. Also these these uniforms are so basic compared to what we have today. But you know, that's just uh that's just how it is, you know, with sports over time things get more sophisticated usually. So I don't see any sponsors on their uniforms. They're just plain shirts and, and shorts, basically, with their number on the back, which is, I don't know, it's just really interesting to see, see how that evolved, I guess. Whoa, did the- <laughs> He's like, dang it, I just scored the goal for you. Let's see that again. I don't know if he, I don't know if he actually scored the goal, but he he definitely got his hands on it, kind of maybe inadvertently knocked it, but oh man. Is it raining? Nice. There they go again. <laughs> Otterdale strikers and keep your eye on George Best in the Good Lord, that's loud. Hate hate it when that happens with these videos where the the volume just like Suddenly goes like center of your screen oh my as gosh. he gets this return pass. This is truly a great, great goal. Best maneuvering unbelievable. It's like going in slow motion. What the heck? Ah! Alright, I gotta watch that one again, but I'm turning off the the that audio is awful. It's like really blown out. Um, he was like going in slow motion, it looks like, with these guys, and he was still faking them out. Look at this. Look at how slow he's going. But look, he's just like, I mean, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before. All right, I think that was the last. Everybody liked that goal. And he's getting into a fight here, it looks like. <laughs> All right, guys, you know what I like about George Best? That he looks like a very, very fundamental player. He's not as flashy as the other players that I have watched, but I think that's just because uh, the time he played in probably wasn't a thing to be as flashy back then. Now, I'm just assuming here because I have not seen, not seen a lot of, you know, really any football from this era, so I'm just making an assumption. I know the further back you go in time with sports, it's more of a, like a fundamental game and then over time players will tend to kind of you know start pushing the limits of things and getting a little bit flashier I guess but I, I like players that have more of the fundamental part of their game like there, there was nothing I mean he wasn't doing those those like round kicks into the goal like we see Cristiano Ronaldo doing but like for instance that last play that we saw the way that he was like I said looked like he was dribbling in slow motion past all of those players and he was faking them out the entire time and then the way he had a knack for just like stealing the ball he he seems to have like a good in, uh, knack for like anticipating passes or being able as a defensive player to to read the person dribbling the ball and be able to anticipate what they were going to 
gonna do and then just you know steal it and then take it down for a goal himself so yeah i like this video it was fun getting to see a little bit of the history of manchester united and kind of get to see one of the very first celebrity footballers just learn a little bit more about the history of the game and i know that there are other players you guys have suggested for me to check out and if you wouldn't mind just reminding me down in the comments if i have not checked out a particular player that i should let me know let's check it on scarlet see what she's up to she's kind of like sleeping maybe all right well if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done that yet also check out my social media links they're in the description and the pinned comment i've also got my patreon link in there if you guys are interested in that and also i've uh, started putting in my podcast link i do a star trek podcast with a couple of other gals so if you're a trekkie check that out as well. Anyway, I promise you guys we'll have a lot more football content coming up. We're gonna try to get back into that stuff, so stay tuned for that coming up soon, and we'll see you next time.